Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now let's solve this problem from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston. And the problem says that the hydraulic cylinder BD exerts on member ABC a force B directed along line BD. So this BD member of this mechanism is applying the force on this ABC in this direction and that applied force is P and it is said that the magnitude of P is 750 Newton uh, uh, knowing that P must have 750 Newton component perpendicular to member ABC. So this P force is acting at point B and we are given the magnitude of the perpendicular component of this P to that ABC. So this is the perpendicular component which is equal to 750 Newton. And we are required to determine uh, the magnitude of force P and its component parallel to ABC. So we have to find the component parallel to this ABC. We are given the magnitude of this perpendicular component and we are asked to find the force P which this uh, BD member is applying on this ABC member. So now let's look into this free body diagram. And uh, this is that point A, B, and C, and D. So here we have that 60 degree. So here we have 60 degree angle. So let me draw that. Uh, let me write that this is 60 degree. And similarly, we are given that this is 50 degree. So this is 50 degree angle. So this is 50. And now if I look into this whole angle, so this whole angle is 180 degrees. So this angle will be 180 minus 60. So this angle is 120. So let me write that this angle is 120. This is 120 degree angle. And similarly, this is a right angle. This is 90 degree. So if this is 50, then this angle is 40. So this is 40. Now, the main task of this problem is to find the angle of force P with this ABC arm. So, so we need to find this angle, right? So if we know this angle is 120 degrees, this is 40 degrees, then we can find this angle. Let's say that this angle is theta. So then uh, we can say that this BCD, this is a triangle, and the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So we can say that theta plus 120 degrees plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. This theta plus 120 plus 40, this must be equal to 180 degrees. So we can say that theta is 180 minus 120 minus 40. So 180 minus 120 minus 40. This gives me 20 degrees. So theta equals to 20 degrees. So this, in this uh, given diagram, this BD member is making 20 degrees with this ABC member. So now let's say, now we can uh, draw that forces. So we are given the uh, perpendicular component of force P. So we are given this component. Let's say this is P perpendicular and its magnitude is given that is 750 Newton. So it is the component of force P perpendicular to that ABC. So we have to find the magnitude of this force P. We have to find the magnitude of this force P and we have to find the component of uh, this force P parallel to that ABC member. So we have to find this P parallel. And now we know that this angle is, we know that this angle is now 20 degrees. This angle is 20 degrees. So now as we know that uh, this, this, the, these are the rectangular components of this uh, P force. So by head to tail rule, they must uh, give us this P, which is the resultant. So we can say that this is that P. Let me draw that force P. This is that force P. And this is the P parallel component. This is P parallel. And this will be P perpendicular. 
this is p perpendicular and this is that force p now p perpendicular is given this is 750 newton this is the angle is 20 degrees the angle with the parallel component is 20 degrees since the parallel component is along that abc member so now we can easily say that this p parallel is this is equal to p cos of 20 degrees since the component adjacent to the angle is always the cos component so p parallel is p cos of theta and similarly this p perpendicular is p sine of theta so p sine of 20 degrees so now we know that this p sine of 20 is equal to 750 newton so we can write that p sine of 20 is 750 newtons or we can say that p is equal to 750 divided by sine of 20 newtons so this is 750 divided by sine of 20 this gives us 2193 so p is approximately 2193 newtons and similarly the parallel component is the component of p which is parallel to that ebc is p cos of 20 now we know p magnitude which is 2193 2193 cos of 20 degrees so we can say that this answer cos of 20 degrees so this is 2060 we can say that p parallel is approximately equal to 2061 newton so this is the parallel component and this is the p magnitude if the perpendicular component is 750 newton and if this p is making 20 degrees with that abc arm so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problems from vector mechanics by baron johnston